Hi, I'm Jeff. This is the first of a series of instructional videos on how to put together your Lobo CNC milling machine. I've got all the parts laid out behind me here. I'll be going through what each of the parts are and then we'll go ahead and start putting stuff together. First, let's look at the sheet metal parts that go into the uh, milling machine. Uh, the main two parts are the YZ slide which forms the y-axis and the z-axis and that fits into this yz stiffener part. When these two parts nest together they form a rigid tubular structure which is going to be the structure of your milling machine. <clears throat> On top of that goes the x-slide mechanism which is going to be uh, located approximately like so. Uh, the thing that actually holds all of these parts together are these carriage plates which will have guide bearings put in them and they'll uh, slide back and forth this way and then there'll be more bearings that allow this piece to slide back and forth this way. And then also for the z-axis there'll be a, a, another carriage plate that slides up and down on, on more guide bearings. We've got four uh, end brackets that get used for holding motors and bearings. There are two pieces here which are used for holding the spindle. These two pieces are identical, but they fold together and they uh, form a mount for the, uh, uh, for the router. Uh, there's an end cap here which goes with these two spindle mount pieces. Uh, a couple of strap pieces that are used for holding uh, this thing at a right angle. A couple of uh, mounting feet that boost this whole thing up off the ground a little bit. And then finally, uh, two cover pieces, a bottom and top cover for the uh, controller board. Okay, the hardware we're going to be using to put together the milling machine uh, is all shown here. A uh, pile of uh, 56 of these 1032 self-tapping screws is what the bulk of the assembly goes together with. Uh, we've got a small pile of M3 screws for mounting the stepper motors, some 632 screws for mounting uh, the um, uh, drive nuts onto the carriage plates. Uh, we have some flathead 1032 screws that get used for mounting the guide bearings. Uh, we've got nine uh, quarter 20 nuts um, 12 guide bearings themselves. Uh, we've got three additional quarter inch bore bearings that get used for supporting the drive screws. Uh, some spacers that go with the uh, guide bearings. The three drive screws themselves are quarter 20 uh, threaded rod cut to lengths of 14 and 5 8 inches. There are, the drive nuts are actually uh, split nuts that uh, are flexed inward slightly and you uh, what they do is they, they apply a slight downward pressure onto the drive, tr uh, drive screws uh, which gives you a zero backlash fit on the drive nuts. These are held in place by these uh, three nut clamps. Um, there are three flexible couplings that are used to connect the motors to the drive screws. And finally, three knobs that are used for uh, manually positioning the drive screws for uh, manual machining operations and uh, uh, zeroing and so forth. Next, we've got the uh, electronics and drive motors. There's three uh, NEMA 17 stepper motors, each with an encoder, and they've got a cable uh, already pre-assembled onto them. There's the three-axis uh, motor controller board that connects to your computer via USB. There's a uh, power switch uh, LED assembly, uh, a little clip for holding the LED into the uh, cover plate, uh, some mounting screws, and little standoffs for the boards. Lastly, a quick look at the tools that you need to uh, put this uh, machine together. Uh, as you can see, fairly simple tools. Um, a uh, a 7 uh open end wrench, a uh, pair of pliers that useful for holding on to certain things during the assembly, Phillips screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver. You'll need some sort of tap wrench and a 1032, 632, and a 440 uh, tap. 
uh, to tap a few holes in the sheet metal parts. Uh, be good to have a 12 inch square uh, for when you're doing the assembly to make sure uh, that the sheet metal parts are, are being locked together in a square configuration. A uh, set of ball end allen wrenches. Uh, the other things that uh, are not shown here for cutting off your quarter 20 uh, threaded rod, you'll probably need a hacksaw of some sort. Uh, I don't have that shown here. Um, and you may also be handy to have a file uh, for uh, smoothing down uh, random edges as needed. A couple of things that aren't actually required but can be handy. A uh, set of dial calipers can be useful for verifying that uh, things are going together uh, properly. And also because there are a lot of screws to put in, using, uh, instead of screwing everything together by hand, a um, cordless screwdriver or drill and uh, uh, screwdriver bits um, are handy. Long one's actually quite convenient uh, for this, but you can use a shorter one as well.